Believe those who search for the truth, but doubt those who claim to have found it. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Did you know martial arts aren't magic? So I suppose most of you will know there's no such thing as magic, and I guess most of you don't believe in no touch or no contact martial arts, or whatever you want to call it. So though this video may seem a little redundant, I feel it's useful to talk about the phenomenon known as Bullshido. But first, take just a second to click on the buttons around this video, you know, subscribe, notifications, just, just all the buttons, thanks. So what is Bullshido? Well, Let's define it the way it's done on the best side when it comes to defining these kinds of words. Urban Dictionary. Bullshido is a word that is used for martial arts that are taught incorrectly. Most often this refers to unverifiable credentials, bad training methods and lying instructors either intentional or unintentional. Bullshido exists in all martial arts but is most prominent in traditional martial arts. So we're not just talking about general no contact fighting, we'll include all types of less than convincing martial arts or just fake martial arts. See the way I see it, fake martial arts are bad for us for two reasons. For one thing, they make all martial arts look bad, causing what were once beautiful and useful skills to become a laughing stock for many non-practitioners. But for another thing, these would-be warriors teach people techniques that do not work while convincing them they do work. Multibu said, nothing is more harmful to the world than a martial art that is not effective in actual self-defense. I would add to that, there is nothing more hazardous to your health than to think you can win any fight. And unfortunately, this is exactly what is taught in fake martial arts. This is also the case for other subjects in life. And a great quote about this very thing was said by the 1947 Nobel Prize winner for literature, André Gide, who said, Croyez ceux qui cherchent la vérité, doutez de ceux qui la trouvent. Or believe those who search for the truth, but doubt those who claim to have found it. In the early 90s, when UFC saw the light of day, it caused a great shift in the way people looked at martial arts. You see, before that, people generally thought a fight could begin and end with a little punching and kicking. Most people didn't have a clue that although it might look cool, they were generally useless against decent grappling moves. The problem is that mastering any martial art takes time, a lot of time and a lot of hard work. And the world of today does not like it when something takes a lot of time and even less when it takes a lot of hard work. This is why McDojo's are even a thing. Why spend so much time in learning all those techniques when you can just as easily pay a guy to just give you a black belt instead? See the guy in front usually has a little bit of skill and a lot of confidence and is business savvy so he can prey on those that are gullible enough to drink the Kool-Aid. Returning to the whole no contact, G controlling, superhero style of fake martial madness. It goes without saying that any person claiming to be able to knock you out without touching you, just by using his inner energy, is either lying to you or delusional. I believe we, as martial artists, should be wary ourselves when it comes to this type of thing. All too often we find ourselves believing blindly whatever sensei tells us. We should always try and understand why a certain technique is used and when it's useless. The same thing goes for those of us who teach. Be your own harshest critic. Teach what you feel works, experiment with it, keep it when it's good and discard when it isn't. And do this for all your new techniques, but also keep an open mind about your tried and tested ones. See the problem with stylized martial arts is that it has become detached from the harsh feedback of reality. We spend so much time learning self-defense but in most cases, we don't have to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, which is a good thing, but it doesn't really help in the whole teach what works philosophy. When a self-defense situation does arise, what would you do? Do you perform your kala as you're taught to? Do you fight like you would in your dojo? I hope you won't. I hope you try and escape, <laughs> perhaps by first kicking the guy's legs as hard as you can. 
I certainly hope you don't try and will him back off. The Jedi mind trick won't work here. And you're no crocodile Dundee. So why even bother with martial arts? Well, there's a great many reasons. Why martial arts should be taught. Do it for personal fitness. Do it for the philosophy of self-improvement. Personal growth as a fighter. As an athlete. Or just because as a way of expressing yourself. Do it because you think it's cool. Do it because you want to. So, how about you guys? Why do you study martial arts? Have you ever met a bullshit instructor? Did you spot his BS or did you believe him? How did you react? Are you allowed to question the ways of your teacher? Do you allow your students to question you? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let me wish you a wonderful day. And as always, thanks for watching.